Hello, this is Jon Kobber from EMD. Now I want to show you how to uh, use the building exporter to create buildings in uh, SketchUp based on shapefiles or WinPro objects. I have lined up a WinPro project here and started up the SketchUp exporter tool from this button. And I just um, launched SketchUp from within this window and now I'm ready to uh, to work uh, with WinPro and SketchUp together. So I'll, the way to do it is you click on the Create Building Exporter to create an exporter. And here you can select whether you want to export buildings from a shapefile or from WinPro objects. Uh, and if you do it from a shapefile, um, I'll, just, I'll just show you, it's quite straightforward. Or if you do it from a, a WinPro object, you can select uh, different kinds of uh, WinPro objects to export from. That could be uh, obstacles or area objects uh, or if also some of the other uh, object types like lines or rulers and then you would have to add a buffer to make it uh, to turn them into areas instead of just lines. I'll show you that, uh, I'll show you that at the end uh, but first I'll show you how to use a shapefile. So here I select a shapefile I have one here that I have uh, prepared. It's uh, this coordinate system, that is correct. And now I have to decide um, what to, uh, where, where to get the height of the buildings from. So either I can simply write in here, they should all be 10 meters. And that is uh, above the uh, digital elevation model. Or it could be above sea level, uh, and that in this case that would mean they would be below uh, the surface because the surface is in the, in the area of 20 meters or 20, 25 meters in this area. But uh, I actually have uh, the heights of the buildings in the shapefile and I here I have to select what field in the shapefile uh, is having the height of the buildings. And uh, this is the value. Uh, the field and is it it is actually the absolute value that I have in this field it's not the, the relative to uh, to the elevation model so um, then I just select the color it could be in a random color uh, doesn't matter and then I say okay and then I run the exporter so uh, here you can see it having uh, it's having some problems with holes in the buildings uh, you can see that but except for that it works quite nicely uh, you have clearly the individual heights of the buildings as you can see here and this is the EMD office right so you can see that is uh, quite easy uh, I'll just show you how to do it with a WinPro object just disable the layer here. So if I want to do it with a WinPro object, that could be uh, obstacle objects, that would be the easiest to show. So if I put in an obstacle uh, on, on the building right here, for instance, then I could do it like this. And I'll say this building is 10 meters. Well. I don't have to put in the value of the height, uh, the building here, but I, I, I think that's quite a nice way to do it. And you can also use the area object if you have many uh, buildings, that might be easier. Then I just for the demonstration say that this uh, side is eight meters or five meters maybe i don't i don't really know uh, this is a random building so now if i create a new building exporter um, then i say i'll use a winpro object and then i'll create a winpro object exporter and what what this actually does it, it is exporting uh, the winpro objects to a shapefile that is then used uh, uh, for the exporter. So I'll say I'll use obstacles and I'll just use all um, I'll just say all selected objects 
And I don't want to add a buffer, then I could actually make it bigger than they are by adding a buffer. And that would be a good option if it was a, a line object, a ruler object, uh, or a, a line object, for instance. Um, but that is mainly uh, made for uh, exporting uh, uh, vegetation and stuff like that. Then I can uh, again, I can say I want to use a, a fixed height, or I can take a set uh, the set value from uh, the shape file, and 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 since it was actually a WinPro object I'm exporting, but uh, WinPro objects I exported to shape files, and this particular export of uh, obstacle objects has uh, one property, and that is the height I wrote into the obstacle object. So I can again here use the uh, different heights for different uh, parts of the export. And in this case, it is actually uh, above the digital elevation model. So I'll just uh, use another color this time and then I say OK. And then I run this new explorer. And this is because I didn't select any objects, uh, so that was my own fault. So I just will select, ah, hold, I'm holding shift down and then I'm dragging here. So this is a way to multi-select. So now I, again, I try to run it once more. I think actually it did create a layer over here, even it did not export anything. But I run the exporter once more and that was a bit better. So I just wonder where is it? Ah, oh, that was a bit boring, it's out here. But you can see um, that also works quite nicely. So um, I think that was about all about the building exporter. Um, thank you for watching and uh, please uh, sign up for our YouTube channel. Goodbye.